Hello, I'm the Great Orbex. We're here today with Dr. Mike Masses to discuss Dr. Masses' spinning, spinning hammer, hammer of death. Death, 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 death. death, 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 death. So I have a 20-pound uh, wheel on my stick here <laughs> that uh, I can sort of lift with one hand. But we've been talking about rotational motion, the difference between force and torque. Here, if my pivot point is close, here I can hold it up reasonably easy. But if I were to try to hold this 20 pounds up way far away from the weight of it, then there's, there's no way that that would happen. What I want to look at today is the idea of how we can hold this thing out, arm stretched, horizontally, uh, with the use of conservation of angular momentum to give us a hand. Now, as you can see by his attempt to use his own body, Dr. Mass is incredibly awkward at handling this spinning death hammer. And it's true, it's, 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 it's really bizarre and strange to actually hold it. So we went around the University of Guelph and asked some people to see if they could show us exactly how awkward it was to actually hold this thing. Yeah, that's hard, right? Try yes. to hold it out if you can. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? It's what? Oh, what? Really? That's the hard part. No. I got nothing. That's hard. Yeah. Could you do that with one hand? Nope. Okay, I can't see what you can do. Well. Back away from it now. Normally holding that hammer at the opposite end, the force of gravity would tip that thing down. So to keep this thing from falling when Orbax holds it over on this end, we're going to spin this up. We're going to give it a lot of angular momentum and that's going to be conserved. Even though gravity would want to tip it down and tilt the wheel, the conserved angular momentum is going to keep that stable in a horizontal orientation and prevent it from falling. Now so Dr. Mass is going to bring this flywheel up to about 2,000 RPMs. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out, dudes. One hand. Whoa. <laughs> so even though gravity is going to try to pull that end down, the conservation of angular momentum is going to keep it horizontal, and as a result, it's going to cause this to spin around, to process around the orbit. And if you try to fight it, it's actually really difficult to get it to go the opposite way, and it'll make it kind of... <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, this way. Woo! 20 pounds. Didn't feel a thing. It was crazy. Because as soon as you pick it up, it's like you can actually, you try to, it's got one preferential direction, right? So it'll actually sweep you around with it. But as soon as you try to fight the other way, you can barely even push it that way. It's like overcoming this weird insurmountable push, but then it just goes. It's all over the place. Just you don't even have to barely even hold it or move it. Well, so there we have it. It's a demonstration of conservation of angular momentum, and that applies to all types of things in your day-to-day -day life. Sure, like uh, tops and gyroscopes. And tops. And figure skaters. And gyroscopes. And helicopters. And gyroscopes. And bike wheels. And tops. Get back to work.